Just check that people aren't being mean on my video. <laughs> I find it funny when people try and insult me and then all of you guys just go <laughs> and comment on their comment and slay them. Makes me laugh. I love your freckles, thank you. Hello everybody. Oh, what is wrong with this top? I just filmed this video for an entire hour. An entire hour and I wasn't even recording. I know, I know, let's just take a minute <laughs> to feel sorry for me. But it's fine because I'm here and I'm doing it again and I've got different questions now because I don't want to answer the same questions again. But one thing that is different about this video than that video is in that video it took me so long to set up my camera and get it focused on my face and then I was just sat like still for an hour. But it honestly took me so long because I can't figure out how to get the remote working. I don't know where I've put it, I think Nelly's probably run off with it, but people use a remote for their videos to focus it and I, I just don't know how, like how do you do that because I've tried and mine either turns the camera off and on or it records it and then stops recording and I just don't understand how you guys get it to focus. So in this video, it might have that annoying click again, I'm really sorry. I will get rid of it someday soon once someone lets me know how to do the remote control thing but I'm gonna try and not move so much in this video so hopefully it doesn't do it that much but I'm gonna go ahead and find my questionis how jealous are you of Lucy and Lydia meeting One Direction and Little Mix I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> I'm not jealous of them meeting them I'm so happy for them basically Lydia phoned me after she met One Direction and I'm such a loser I cried on the phone I was like oh my god I can't believe you met them I'm never gonna let you wash your face again. <laughs> I didn't say that, that would have been a bit creepy, but I thought it in my head, Lydia <laughs> and Lucy. I did. I'm not jealous of them, I'm super happy for them. I'm sure I will hopefully get to meet them someday, and if not, it's just not meant to be. I know if I did meet One Direction, I would probably faint, not gonna lie. I'm a really big fan girl at heart, so I would probably like keel over. What's the one thing you would change about YouTube? I would actually change two things about YouTube, and the first one would be I would remove the like and dislike buttons because I don't feel the need to have a dislike button there but at the same time I don't feel the need to have a like button there like if you want to watch something surely you would just watch it surely there's no reason to watch something and hate it enough to dislike it do you know what I mean? like a lot of haters I don't understand because at the end of the day they're the ones who stalk your accounts they're the ones who stalk your Twitter, YouTube, Instagram they watch all of your videos just to pick them apart and at the end of the day they're just backwards fangirls really because they're still watching everything and following everything you do they're just not doing it in a good way and then they normally sit and complain about fangirls but really they're kind of the same I love fangirls, I'm a fangirl, but I don't like haters, so I would take away the dislike button. Just don't watch something if you know you're not going to enjoy it, why waste your life? Go and frolic with the trees. And I would change the comment section as well, and I know this is probably really hard to do, but if I owned YouTube I would try and really monitor it so that hate comments didn't get through because there's nothing worse than putting so much time and effort into a video and they do take a lot more time than you probably think and then reading the comments and it just be full of hate again if you don't like something just don't watch it and if you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all so I would monitor the comments too if I Marlene I never know whether to call her Marlene King or I Marlene King because she says I Marlene King on Twitter so if I Marlene it's like I just do allowed you to be in Pretty Little Liars, what would your character and storyline be like? I reckon I would be A, so whoever A is, I would want to be A. <laughs> if you weren't a YouTuber, what job slash industry would you be in? I've said this lots of times, but I would love to be a singer, but at the same time, I wouldn't because I get so nervous that I think I would actually make quite a, a bad <laughs> singer if it was my career because I would just get so nervous that I wouldn't be able to sing, that is currently what happens right now. I get so nervous, even though I love it so much and it is what I want to do. I don't know what's wrong with me because when I was younger, I used to be totally fine with it. Like, it wouldn't bother me at all, but now that I'm older, it proper bothers me and I just can't sing unless I've had some encouragement, like a glass of wine or something. I just can't do it. 
So, I would love to be an interior designer, or I would love to be a photographer. Where on your body would you get a tattoo? That's so hard to say. A tattoo. Love you. Love you too. I would get ones. Well, first of all, I really want a sleeve on this arm, I think. Just really, really freaking want a sleeve. I've always wanted one. I'm such an arty person. I love anything to do with art and design. If someone asked me to draw them a dinosaur eating a mushroom, I would really enjoy it. Like, I would put so much effort into it. I'm just a really arty person. So I've always wanted tattoos since I was like, and knew what they were. I used to watch LA Ink, Miami Ink, all of them all the time. So I would get a sleeve and I also love the look of hand tattoos but before I get them I need to make a serious commitment with myself to stop biting my nails because I don't think that they look pretty with bitten nails so can I keep that commitment up is the question. Also I think tattoos look sick when people are older. Like most people get tattoos of little things that remind them of something so if you're with an older person who's got tattoos you can be like oh what does that one mean, what does that mean and they can tell you stories about their life and I just think that's amazing. I would definitely get things that meant something to me when I get them and I am going to get them. Sorry parents and family but I love tattoos. What will you miss the least and the most about Brighton? The least, the least thing I will miss? The thing I'll miss the least is, I can't think of a word for this, but I know that there is one. How samely things are, like every day it's the same thing, the same shops, the same, like just the same everything. Brighton is actually quite small if you think about it, there's not that much variety. So I won't miss the lack of variety, but I will miss the sea. I love the sea. I live so close from the sea. It's literally at the end of my road. So I'm going to miss the sea. Favourite song at the moment? This is really cringy, but I've rediscovered S Club Juniors and I'm just obsessed with Automatic High, One Fine Day, Puppy Love. Oh my God, they, they were such a good group. I loved them. I also have rediscovered the Kelly Clarkson album with Behind These Hazel Eyes on and all of them songs. Love that album. It's amazing. New flat equals more mugs. Am I right? You are so right. But I've actually gone a bit more crazy with the bowls and plates because when I moved here, I was going for a really mismatched theme. I don't know why, I just had it in my head that if things didn't match, it would look cool. I don't know, but I've majorly gone off that. I want things to match now. So I've bought new plates and bowls in a matching set. They're really cool, they're from m and I'm probably just gonna keep up the mismatching mugs thing because I like too many mugs to not buy them. Since you're moving house, would you consider getting Nelly a little friend? I have actually considered this, but I've come to the conclusion that no, I don't think I will. He's so much work as it is. My other cats that I've had before have never been as much work as Nellington is. He just wants to cuddle you all the time. He wants to be around you all the time. He wants all the attention ever and when you're trying to eat or you're trying to do work and he's just there all the time it's like Nelly it's like having a dog and I'm not a big fan of dogs but I love Nelly so much I love him so much but I don't think I could deal with two at the same time oh my goodness plus he likes attention so much that I don't think he would like it if another cat got attention over him what's the weirdest thing about your new flat that you love first of all it has a shed who has a shed in London <laughs> it has a shed I said I'm gonna turn it into the house on the Wizard of Oz and put like witch feet under it with ruby slippers on and turn it into the shed of the year shed, but I don't think I will. I mean, it's, it's a shed. The weirdest thing is probably in my bedroom that I love. There's a wall that kind of goes back a little bit and I just see it as being a perfect den. When I was younger, I used to make dens all the time out of my duvets and things. I used to get told off as like, stop making dens and I'd be like, no, I want a den. So I can finally have a den. I'm just gonna fill it with fairy lights and cushions and throws and it's gonna be so cute. Just realize I've got my hair up. Never wear my hair up in videos, that's strange. Are you thinking about hiring an interior designer to help you furnish your house? No, no, no. I enjoy decorating too much. I always knew that me staying in Brighton was temporary. I wanted to try living on my own, so I only signed the lease for this place for six months. 
and after six months I decided to stay on for a further six months because I was busy around the time didn't really have time to look for a new place in London and to be honest I wanted to see what summer was like here and if I would like the place better in summer which I do I do like it better but I'm still not loving it so I always knew that this was going to be temporary so I never decorated properly, I just bought like the cheap cheap Ikea stuff just to get me by which is completely fine and it looks really nice to be honest but now that I'm moving I've signed the lease for 14 months on that place which is scary because I've never lived there before and if I have noisy neighbours, which I don't because I've visited twice now and it's not been noisy, it's on such a nice street, it's really quiet but yeah I've signed it for 14 months so I'm definitely going to decorate properly and decorate how I would have wanted to decorate this place but never did, if that makes sense. I like this boy and he likes me, but everyone in my class hates him and I feel like I'll be judged if I like him. Help! Well, first of all, you shouldn't care what other people think. If you like him and he would treat you well, then just go for it and try and ignore all the people who are against it because at the end of the day, it's not their life, so they can worry about their problems and you concentrate on yours. But if everybody in your class doesn't like him, ask yourself why they don't like him. Like, is he a bit of a douchebag or do they just not like him for no reason? Just make sure that he would treat you well and try and ignore what everyone else thinks. Would you rather know everything about the world or everything about everyone? I would rather know everything about the world because if you knew everything about everyone, life would be so boring because you would never learn anything. I love getting to know people so much. I get so excited when I meet people. I like quiz them. I'm like that game that's 20 questions or something. I'm like, how are you? How's your day? Where have you been? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm so annoying. But I like finding things out about people so I would find the world a really boring place if I knew everything about everyone. When are you moving house slash flat? I'm moving house slash flat <laughs> on the 17th of July and I'm buzzing. I don't know when this video is going to go up but I'm so excited. And I just want to add that I am vlogging my moving experience on my vlog channel. I know that my last moving videos are the highest viewed ones I think on my vlog channel so I'm just letting you guys know if you want to go and watch them I'll leave a link to subscribe so you can be ready and raring to go. They'll probably start on like the 20th of July just so that I can vlog every day and have time to edit them while I'm unpacking and being busy sorting things out. So I don't think I'll do them literally the days that I move like I did last time because I was staying up till like 5am and really tiring myself out so they'll probably start on the 20th. Why did you want to move to London? I keep getting asked this a lot because I actually didn't used to like London but I was in a phase of my life where I was really unhappy. When I first moved here, the winter time that I first moved was probably one of the most unhappy times in my life. I might not have seen it in videos, but I just wasn't happy at all and I hated everything. I hated going to London for meetings. I just hated I hated everything about the place because I wanted to be on my own. I didn't want to have to see people and London is such a busy place. But now that I'm a bit happier, with everything. I really enjoy going to London and like I said I love meeting people and quizzing them and finding things out about them and I'm just so bored here. I find it so hard to meet people here. I don't even know how I would go about it so I just stay in my flat all day and then see Hobby and the twins and stuff but I just don't understand how you would go about meeting people in Brighton unless you joined a club or something but in London there's people everywhere and I'll be going to meetings so much more than I do now and fun events and things. I'm so excited. Who do you think is A? Dun, dun, dun. This is a good question. I don't think it's Ren. A lot of people think it's Ren. I just don't think it's Ren. I don't think he was a big enough character for it to be Ren and for it to make an impact. I would love it to be Melissa, like Melissa Hastings, I would find that so funny. Don't think it's that guy whose name I can never remember, what is his name? The blonde one who they all thought it was and, but it's not, it's defo not him. I don't think it's Jason, I've seen some people say that they think it's Jason, I don't think it's Jason, I don't see how that would work really. I actually watched a video of somebody going through a theory on Officer Garrett and I will leave that video below because I actually think that would be a really cool way to go with the show and it would make a lot of sense if you watch the video. But I would also love Charles to be a transgender. Obviously 
they found out that A has boobs. Woo! If it even was A, I mean, they trick us so much, it could still be a guy. But I would love Charles to be either Sarah or Bethany Young. I just think that would be such a good plot twist. And the last question is, if you could stay one age for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think 25 would be a good age to stay. I'm 21 now and I don't, I wouldn't want to live out an age that I've been previously for the rest of my life because I haven't really had happy times in them ages. But I feel like my mid-twenties will be a good time for me. So yeah, I would go with like 25 because then you're not too young, but you're not too old and yeah life would be great. I wish you could pause time. I'm so terrified of dying that I just wish you could pause time. Ugh, where's Bernard's watch when you need it? That is the end of my Q&A. Let me know something about yourself in the comments. Let me quiz you. How old are you? Where are you from? And what is your name? And what is your favourite name? So what's your name and what is your favourite name? Let me know in the comments. I would love to find out. Remember to subscribe to my vlog channel for moving vlogs and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. <laughs> oh, no, Bob, you squeaky little thing. Manamana. Do 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 do. Manamana. Do 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 do.